the first thing you notice about this shot is all the spectators watching the dime beat and um, sitting close together with no masks on. And in that aspect, it's a really important picture because obviously we can't do that anymore and we're not sure when we'll be able to do that again. But it's, uh, it's also a really neat photo because um, of the giant window behind the diver. I was able to silhouette the diver in that window and it really cleans it up and gives the focus to the diver, which I think um, helped make that successful photo. Greg, everything changed in March and the photographs that chronicled the pandemic became part of our lives. The shot that was taken by Ben McKenna of the little kid having his temperature taken. Yeah, it sort of summed up everything, which is why we included it. This is a student from the French school in Freeport, and they uh, opened back up in June, early June. They were one of the first schools to do so. And uh, we just loved it because of the, the look of worry on the boy's face. It just mirrors, I think, everything that everybody's been feeling since March. Another shot that sort of captures the the isolation, the changes in our lives, a uh, student out in her neighborhood in her prom dress with no one else around. Yeah, this is our, by our photographer, Brianna Soka, and she got the idea that we knew that proms weren't going to be happening, so she got the idea of like reaching out to kids to take portraits of them in their dresses, in their tuxes, whatever they were going to wear, just as a way for them to sort of like showcase what they would have looked like had everything been a normal year. So this is just the isolation of this and the beautiful light that is on uh, the girl is what really makes this. Another shot that conveys the isolation, the inability to simply get together with other people, the deacon out in a parking lot at a drive through church service. Yeah, this is out in Westbrook. This is by Ben McKenna. It's clearly cold. The wind is blowing, and and he's he's holding up the Eucharist during an adoration, and uh, uh, just a remarkable image showing the adaptation that we've had to all go through. Another major story that you guys and your colleagues had to cover this year was the Black Lives Matters protests, which were heavily focused in Portland. Sean Patrick Willett got a terrific photograph the protesters downtown. Tell me about this one, Greg. We went from in May, April and May having the city be empty and we went from like having, you know, seeing two people on the street to being in the middle of thousands of protesters. And what we like this about this one about Sean's is it shows the number of people, it shows it's late at night, um, and it just sort of captures how long the protests went on and how dedicated the protesters were to continuing the message. Derek, it can sometimes be hard to get a memorable image when there are hundreds of people whom you need to photograph. You took a shot of a Black Lives Matter protest with people lying down in front of the Portland Police Department headquarters. Do you remember what your thinking was as you were trying to get that shot? It was mind blowing. This was uh, the first really large protest, Black Lives Matter pr protest in Portland. It was, I think on June 1st and you couldn't move. So luckily I was close to a trash bin and was able to scramble up on top of it and get a shot that showed uh, just how many people were there. And Greg, let's end on a note of something a little more soothing. The natural world, even when it's in turmoil, a storm that you caught down at Long Sands Beach in New York. The lightning was coming down, the lifeguards were calling people out of the water, and I was really struck by this one man, after the lifeguards left, he went on back skimming uh, his skimboard in the water, and it just sort of, I felt like people were so desperate to get out and do something outside and be outside. It's like they were, they, it was willing, he was willing to take the risk of being in the water, because he clearly did not want to go home yet.